I'm vetting out the things that don't make me feel closer to home. That don't make me feel like my shoes belong at the door. And I remember that every time I step foot into a kitchen, the fridge holds my dreams and I have a palate to be explored. Books tell it all. But it's the food we remember. The taste that we relate to things we know we never tasted. And you remember the first time you attempted to make it and the recipe didn't take. And you learned that God has specifically placed it in the hands of women above you to cultivate and hold on to it until it was your time. I thought I had the steps to recreate that kitchen. But if I mixed up all the dry ingredients and everything would start to look like a mixture of all the kitchens I've cooked in. But if I mixed the milk in, then everything would bind and become permanent. But if I added the yeast, it would rise enough for me to add my own kitchen to the mix. I beat the eggs. I whipped them until the bubbles took over the bowl and they appeared more white than yellow. I thought if I added the butter, the oil, and the flour that everything would manage to come together and it would be final, but it became dough. And I realized that I still had some sitting to do. Some portioning out to do, I still had some molding to take care of.